Who is dirtier, the Democratic National Committee or the Republican National Committee? That's what's on this week's Alabama politics for the Irish and Scots. First, we're going to kick it off with Mithril. This is from their album, The Return Home. This is The Ale is Dear, The Road to Karagorik, and The Boarding House Jig.
Welcome to Alabama Politics for the Irish and Scots of Alabama. My name is Mark Gunn. Uh, first, this show is uh, running a little bit behind. I, this, I wrote this all up last week, and I meant to put it out, and I just didn't have time. Last week, documents came out that Hillary Clinton basically kept the DNC on life support for the past few years. And that's basically why Hillary won, quote unquote, the Democratic primary. She bought the primary position. Democrats were basically hoodwinked. And that's all Fox News will talk about. That's because the rest of the news sites are talking about not only the DNC, of course, but they are also talking about the fact that Robert Mueller has indicted three people from the Trump campaign due to his investigation over Russian collusion. Other dirty members of his campaign are being scrutinized as well. It's sadly ironic that the president who won in part because he talked about draining the swamp of corruption in Washington, surprisingly finds himself surrounded by that very same swamp. It's like he's guilty of collusion. (laughs) We won't know anytime soon or possibly ever, but what is certain is that he and the RNC likes to employ people who are just as dirty as the DNC. So perhaps it's no surprise that the criminal Roy Moore is running as a Republican candidate for the Alabama Senate race on December 12th. He's proving to be as corrupt as both the DNC and the RNC combined. He was twice removed from office for breaking the law. His nonprofit is being investigated for fraud, not paying taxes, and an obscene pay. What was it, like $400,000 for part-time work? That's called embezzlement in my book, or tax evasion, or all sorts of dirty criminal activity. But this is nothing new to the criminal Roy Moore because he belongs in jail. Unfortunately, most people I talk to shake their heads in disgust and say he's going to win the Alabama Senate. And of course, most recently, a number of accusers have come forward. I think four is it so far? Maybe a fifth one is about to come out. Who's basically saying that uh, Roy Moore was basically hitting on school girls when he was in his 30s. Who knows what he's doing nowadays because he's a disgusting person. I, for one, don't want that, nor do many more people. In fact, I've seen several prominent GOP party members showing that they believe in truth and justice. They are ditching him, especially after the the latest uh, sexual misconduct acts of Roy Moore. They are voting against their party in favor of Doug Jones, who has proven himself time and time again to be for Alabamians, fighting for issues that affect individuals in Alabama instead of for his own greedy self-interest. That's Roy Moore. Greed, self-interest, he doesn't give a spit about you. Politicians should be public servants, not corporate slaves. A vote for the criminal Roy Moore is a vote for subjugation of people, of individuals. Well, the criminal Roy Moore is dirtier than the DNC and RNC. Doug Jones is the candidate who will drain the stench from both parties as a moderate politician in Congress. If you want cleanliness back in the White House, please vote for Doug Jones on December 12th. Go to his website, DougJonesForSenate.com, to find out how you can volunteer to be a part of his campaign to get him elected. Now, I should point out that while I am very biased in favor of Doug Jones, I have no affiliation with either party. I started this podcast because I'm a fan of what Doug Jones has accomplished and what I think he will accomplish in Washington. Shows paid for entirely by me from my own pocket because I am not a greedy bastard like Roy Moore. Because I know Doug Jones is the man who needs to be the next senator of Alabama. So please vote for Doug Jones on December 12th. Now, I I did see that the polls... Uh, the latest poll I saw uh, showed that Roy um, Roy Moore was now down. <laughs> uh, Doug Jones was actually winning. He was up four points in the latest poll here in Alabama. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. There's a lot. I, I was looking at the um, at the actual information about it, and it was talking about like over half of the people who responded described themselves as evangelical Christians, and they too. Evangelical Christians, uh, I'm seeing, are real at recognizing a disgusted slime ball that is Roy Moore and are voting against him. Or that's the hope um, in the month, in the next month to come, because we are just just a little less than a month away from the next election. And I'm hoping that more and more people will see just what a disgusting human being he is. He is not a godly person. That's a total fabrication. He's basically ripping off uh, good Alabamians. And it's time that that should end. So please go vote for Doug Jones on December 12th. 
he will make an amazing candidate and an, a moderate one, not an extremist. We're, I'm sick of a string extremists in politics. This is what is uh, this polarization that's happening right now in American politics is just absolutely disgusting. And you're seeing seeing it both from the Democrats as well as the Republicans extremists. And they're what are they doing? They're the tax agenda. It's basically going to be what is going to be a. Uh, favoring all the rich people. Now, now some people are saying, oh, no, it's not favoring the rich people. But it, well, the point is, okay, so the, this is one of the things that some people are just really not realizing. Okay, so when you, uh, they're ch- they want to lower the corporate tax rate to 20%, the idea being that the corporations will send that money basically down to the good people, hire more people, um, which is all well and good if it worked. But uh, Reagan already proved that Reaganomics does not work. Trickle down e- economics does not work. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a myth. Now, not only is that a myth, but there's also the idea that, that it might work in a recession or right now. But right now, the economy is booming. Thank you. Obama, uh, the economy is booming. It's been doing really well for the past few years because uh, all of the, the what has happened in our government over the past eight years. So we are in a very strong economy. So this there's no point in actually trying to move to lower the tax rate for corporations, except to put more money in Trump's pocket. So if you want to do that, then you will. Yeah, you you obviously are probably going to have already stopped listening to this podcast because uh, Trump is also a repulsive human being, also a sexual misconduct uh, person who's uh, been accused also of basically uh, molesting women. Um, Only in this case, Roy Moore is molesting children. So, you know. Um, oh, I know. Vote for Doug Jones for Senate because he's not a disgusting perv. All right. We're going to finish up this show. If you have any comments, I would love to hear them. Post them in the show notes at alabamapolitics.libson.com. While you're there, let me know uh, who do you plan for vote to vote for and why. I would love to hear your comments. Uh, whatever they are, post them. Even if you uh, think that Roy Moore is not a pig. Um, I would I'd be curious to hear why you think that. I obviously disagree. But... Um, Go post your comments. Let me hear you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Slant you. Oh, here's some music from me. This is the Scottish King of Christmas from my Christmas album, Celtic Christmas Greetings. You've heard about three kings of Orientar. But have you heard about the fourth from afar? He came down from the cold, windy north. To celebrate Jesus' holy birth He followed the star across highlands and seas Far to the south, across many countries He wore blue paint and a kilt quite bold That danced as he walked into the stable door Fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 The wise men looked up at this stranger and stared Who was this wild man who didn't comb his hair? A wool blanket he brought that looked like his kilt he wrapped baby Jesus and by his side he knelt. Fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la la la. The wise men smiled as he left the stable door, thinking they liked this man much more than before. They heard a sound that blared through the night Baby Jesus awoke to those highland bagpipes Fa la 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 Fa la 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 Fa la 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 Fa la 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 Scotland the brave